welcome back to Sambo Stop Race. You can see here we have the Titan II Combine out again. Uh, I got new tires for it and I sanded them down. They are pretty tight, but I think they look pretty nice. I have the corn head on it right now. And the main thing that's missing is the grain hopper, which goes right here like this. Now, a real Titan II Combine, as you can see right here, has mesh around um, the hopper where this little square is. I found pictures on the internet and I marked out just with a sharpie um, of where to cut out. So I have a cutout there. I'm cutting all that out. The front was actually really hard to find. The sides like that and the backs like that. So we'll see how this all goes and then it's going to be painted. So I thought I'd make a video on this as this is kind of like our build along series. So let's get into it. So I broke out my Dremel shaft so it's easy and small to hold on and grind. I'm going to start, I guess, um, right on the side piece. And I'm just going to go in and make a couple holes and grind out the m most of it. And then come back with a hobby knife and cut around the sides and then use a file to sand it out. Hopefully it goes alright. You saw me um, cutting out with the Dremel originally there, so what I did was I finished cutting out all the sections, and a hobby knife was actually very useful. Um, you can see I, I might have a little bit of touch up, not much. Um, and then what I did was I'll, I put some glazing putty on, which is just like a, a, a it's like for cars. You can get it at um, any auto parts store there we go or hardware store anything so i put that one just to fill the cracks because the dremel um what i ended up using was a cutting wheel for these um larger areas and that ended up kind of cutting over some places so you can see it's still drying there while i was waiting for the putty to dry i just um cut out some little pieces of plastic using um scotch tape uh, like packing tape it has these little bubbles in when you fold it i always fold it over but that's not going to be a problem then you can kind of see there i did some up and down and across cuts to a piece um to make it kind of look like screen because that's how the real thing looks and you can't get screen that fine in 164 scale that i could find uh, this is just easier and it'll look decent so here you can see i painted and well first i sanded down um what i the uh, stuff i put on uh, to fill in the holes and then i gave it a, a coat of paint and it is still drying so then the next step is to put in that glass you saw and then it's about done so if you can look carefully in all these little pieces that you can kind of i made the lines come out by using some of these pastels i used the gray and just uh, grinded it up and then put a little just kind of smooth it in the grooves I mean. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a black sharpie instead of paint and just um, uh, make the edges black of uh, this, uh, these cutouts, windows, and then put some clear Elmer's glue, which all Elmer's glue is clear. Uh, I just got that. So I ended up gluing all these little plastic pieces in. It doesn't look the greatest, but these, um, well, you can see now, this is what I've done to the combine so far, minus the headers. The headers have been weathered and everything. In a later video, I am going to weather it. I was kind of not really gone up, but then I thought, okay, and it's my first one, like, there's a bunch of imperfections. Imperfections, if they're in the right spot, cover them with rust, and it looks pretty good. That's my little trick. So, I haven't actually seen it in the combine yet, but if I stick it in without making all the glass fall out and then I also cut out um two little spots for that little green thing or my jigger and if I stick him in there there she is and then put the auger in that will need some further adjustment from the inside that's about what the combine is going to look like, and I'm pretty happy with that, honestly, for my first combine. Pretty good. 
so tell me what you think. Obviously, this isn't, um, we're not done yet. I, I have the ladder to put in, and that's about it. And I'll, the ladder, handrail, and weathering will all be in one video because handrails, I mean, here, I can show you them right now. I got a kit. It, they're, they're 3D printed, so all you have to do is glue them on. Um, I might have to do some adjusting because I really feel like they're not quite the right size. Yeah. I'll probably cut those off and then... But I think that's probably how it was meant. I don't know. Maybe it shouldn't even be that high. I should put it like that. Who knows? I'll have to look at pictures. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to share um, and subscribe if you're not already. I'd really appreciate it. I don't um, overload your subscriptions. Um, the most videos I'll do is once a week average. Um, some It's usually two to two weeks to a month. Um, I really don't like it that way, but I'm busy as you are. And uh, share this with channel too. Uh, closing on 300 subscribers, and that's pretty neat. So with all that, thanks for stopping by.